Hello everyone and welcome back. Just in case you've been living under a rock, 715 dropped today, this morning. That's right, our giant nerf is live. So let's go over this. When I first logged in, I was really upset. My haste went down to below 20%. My mastery was down to low 40%. I was really upset with these changes. So before I went ahead and deleted my character, I went ahead and ran my daily random heroic. And let's get right into this update. So for tanks in general, it's very unfortunate that our secondary stats got nerfed just because for the most part we have the same stat weights that we did beforehand. Blizzard has said in their Q&As that this balancing didn't balance tanks the way that they wanted to balance every class and unfortunately tanks are in a very weird place for them to be able to balance but overall I still think this patch did a pretty good job. Every tank now needs to look at their priorities and farm out the appropriate gear. So if haste is a priority for you you need to look at exactly what dungeon drops that for you or what raid boss drops that for you and start farming farming that particular dungeon or raid just so you can get your gear. That being said however, if you've been sitting on a lot of gear that's an eye level upgrade and it doesn't have the right secondary stats for you, well now that 715 is live, basically if it's more than a 10 item level upgrade, it's probably better for you to equip it. So go ahead, throw on your best item level gear and rock that item level as opposed to having your item level be different equipped than in your bags. So what this mechanic really does, and I do like what it does, is if you get lucky with Titan Forging, War Forging, getting a socket on something, and you get a really high item level on a piece of gear, even if it's not perfect for you, it's still probably an upgrade, given about a 10 item level difference. The reason why I do like this is not because it makes things simpler, but because when you get a nice high roll of the dice, you don't have to worry about a secondary roll of the dice with the stats. Basically, if you get something that looks like an upgrade, it is, go ahead and throw it on. It does make things easier, but it also makes things less frustrating with RNG. Now at least if RNG gives you a high roll, you'll be fine. It's still a high roll. The drawback of this patch is since our secondary stats did get nerfed, we have to farm a little bit more of them. So depending on what tanking class you are you know what those stats are warriors haste is the number one stat we used to want 25 to 30 percent now we want 29 to 35 percent in that area so what you should be doing is farming gear that has that primary stat we used to focus a lot on two stats but nowadays we can basically just do one and be okay if you have a chance to pick between two pieces of gear that are the same item level then there's a little bit more of a conversation but overall if you focus on your main secondary stat you should be okay and everything else should fall into place now. Another drawback of this patch and us tanks is the fact that Blizzard has admitted they don't know how to tune us yet, so things like trinkets are still in a very weird place. A lot of times the best trinket for us is a time walk eye level 805 trinket. So in the links below I'm going to go ahead and link to a very robust analysis for every single tanking class out there and what trinkets are best for them. So go ahead and click there if you have any questions about trinkets, just because a lot of the brand new legion trinkets are not really that great for us. The big thing to keep in mind here is that we have one week to re-item, one week to farm gear, one week to farm AP at Artifact Knowledge 25 before Nighthold drops. So we need to start getting used to our new rotations, go get our new gear, and farm a little bit more so that we can be ready when Nighthold drops. Building on that a little bit more, now that Artifact Knowledge is level 25, we can start farming AP like crazy. So if you got bored of the Maw Souls grind beforehand, nowadays you have to farm a lot less because we have a huge bump up on the artifact power and now since our secondary stats were nerfed a little bit these last few levels to our artifact power are gonna mean a lot more since they're gonna have a bigger impact on our survivability two really good things that I see coming from this patch is the fact that we're starting to see all these talents competing with each other there is no longer one or two talent builds for tanks to have equipped at all times just in the warrior discord chat alone today I've seen one build for mythic plus carries one build for mythic plus progression and another build for raids. So we're starting to see the rise of a lot more talent builds that are very competitive with each other. All of these builds, regardless of if you're using them primarily for mythic carries or mythic plus progression or raids, they're all very competitive with each other and they're all within a few percentage points of each other. So this is good news for everyone that doesn't want to run the same cookie cutter build as the top people and try to get those top parses, but people who want to tank with certain skills equipped. Now we can all be viable. Something else that we see that's really good 
good is that item level is starting to approach every legendary item level as well. So these legendaries are becoming less and less of a necessity. They also got a little bit nerfed if they were too good or a little bit buffed if they were too bad. So overall legendaries aren't as huge of a necessity anymore and getting a bad legendary can still happen but it's no longer as bad. Overall, honestly, this patch looked like a huge nerf to everybody. And while tanks are a bit of an outlier, overall, for the large majority of our gearing, we fall in line with everybody else. And again, even though this patch looked like a huge nerf, it's actually turning out to be pretty good. So far, with patch 715, I'm enjoying tanking a lot more. I'm less focused on RNG with gear. Upgrades are just upgrades. When I get something that's higher item level, I can just equip it. So overall, there seems like there's going to be a lot less frustration with trying to gear up, trying to get exactly the right piece of gear we're gonna start seeing a lot of people build differently use different talent points and still be perfectly viable tanks now of course there will always be a meta and those people that are min maxing will always find an optimal way to min max but honestly all the talent points are all really close to each other now so honestly get out there start running dungeons start preparing for a night hold farm your AP get used to your new rotations and this patch from the outside looked terrible but when you get into the gameplay I've actually really been enjoying it. So let's get ready to take down Gul'dan. And as always, good luck tanking out there.